YouTube, my name is Ambrosia27 and today I have something really special for you guys. Um, today we are going to be cooking some turkey stew and it's actually going to be the beginning of my intense hold on, I'm watching Markiplier. I do this while I cook, okay? Am I the only person who's had trouble with like Windows 10 because I really don't want to get it because I have all my stuff already loaded on my computer and it just, it doesn't seem like something I really want to do. But yeah, so this one's going to be a little bit less... I guess we're fine. I'm gonna be talking to you guys while I cook. Um, I'm actually shooting this on my phone right now because I don't quite have my camera set up for this. And this is a first run sort of thing. So yeah, I really wanted just to take a chance to share some of my recipes with you guys. So it'll be, that's the dogs, just, okay, it's fine. It's gonna be a lot of like wholesome, low calorie, um, you know, good filling food. Some of it will be vegan because you guys know I don't um, digest milk very well or milk products. So for me it's just kind of easier just to eat vegan food. Um, so some of it will be vegan. A lot of it's just going to be, I guess, normal food. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really excited to share this with you guys. So let's get started. Alright, so here's just a couple of things you're going to need to start out with. Um, it does look like a lot, but I promise you, once you like get it all chopped up, then you'll be fine. Alright, so here is my giant mess of things. We have a can of tomato sauce, and yes, I shop at Winco, I've mentioned that. Um, one or two cans of chicken broth, kind of just depending on how much you plan on making. And we have some cilantro, and I love cilantro, so I'm probably going to throw all of this in there. A couple of carrots, we have a red bell pepper, a green bell pepper, some ground turkey, a couple of potatoes, half an onion, it might be a whole onion because I really do like onions, and then we have a can of corn. So we got our big pot on the stove ready. It's empty. And yeah, so let's get started on making these things look delicious. So one of the things that inspired me to start uh, filming recipes for you guys was talking to my friends and my coworkers who watch this and having them make suggestions about, oh, well, you know, you cook a lot, you know, you did a lot of really good food, you know, it'd be a good idea and a good addition to your channel if you just start filming them. So that's what I did. Um, I'm actually really excited for this. I'm sure I've said it a number of times already, but this is something that's really near and dear to me. Like, I love cooking. It's one of my favorite pastimes. And learning or I guess reteaching myself how to cook everything from scratch as opposed to relying on, you know, at least a lot of pre-made things has actually been really fun. Okay, so me being the dork that I am, uh, I forgot that the first thing you should be doing today is cutting up your onions. So, onions are done, along with half the potatoes. Cut up your onions, dice them up, there's no technique here, I just try to dice them as best I can because I am not a professional chef. So dice up your onions, and then you're going to pour roughly about a quarter cup of olive oil into your pan. So once the olive oil heats up, you're going to want to add your onions, and you're going to want to make sure you cook them down for about 5 to 10 minutes until they're translucent and giving off this really nice aroma because then they get sweet, and that helps to flavor the soup. So while your onions are cooking down, you're going to want to cut up three carrots and you're going to want to make sure that they're about, you know, coin sized uh, carrots. I'm not talking too thin, you know, good size though. You don't want huge chunks, otherwise they won't cook down right. And then you're going to want to cut up your bell peppers. And please don't try to cut them and core them like I did. I almost cut myself like three times and I know better than that. Yep, like, like I just did right there. So go ahead and do that. You're gonna chop them up and don't forget to pick off uh, the stickers because I think I almost missed one and it almost went in the pot and had I not like double checked, uh, it would have been an odd addition to this stew. So you're gonna wanna add two pounds of 15% uh, fat turkey. And I know it looks like dog food. It looks worse once it's cooked. But as long as you season it right, you should be totally fine. And 
was gonna add the potatoes and cook them down, but I was really hungry, so I ended up just kind of throwing everything in there at once. And you're gonna wanna top that with both bushels of cilantro and the can of tomato soup, uh, tomato sauce, and the two cans of chicken stock and the corn. And then you're gonna wanna incorporate this nicely, you know, stir it around, make sure everything gets coated, and you're gonna wanna let it cook for about 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes, and we are gonna check on this delicious, delicious stew. Seriously, you guys, this smells like the stuff my grandma makes, and for me, that's a huge accomplishment because I'm not, like, the same chef that my grandma is, so for me to make stuff that smells like what she makes is just, I feel so proud of myself. Okay. So let me stir this baby up. It, it does smell so good, though, you guys. Like, it's ridiculous how good this smells right now, and I'm really happy that I made this just in time for lunch because that means I get to eat it. If you cut your potatoes, you know, relatively similar sized, um, if you cut your potatoes relatively similar sized and, you know, they've been in there all for about the same amount of time, you should be good. Oh no, I'm wrong. <laughs> mm. But the flavors are so good. Okay. about another 20 minutes and then we'll come check back up on it. Yeah, my fire's still going. We're good. So I'll see you guys then. So now that we have waited roughly, roughly, roughly about 50 minutes, um, I actually turned up the heat a little bit to about a medium, uh, medium low instead of just a low. So I'm hoping that this cooked a little bit better and we're gonna check it out. See, that, that was how it was supposed to, ow, that was how it was supposed to look. So now we'll give this one a quick stir. All right guys, so here's the final product. It looks delicious and it definitely tasted delicious. And I've drawn up this little nutritional facts uh, label for you so that you can get all your details on that. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, definitely don't be afraid to leave a comment down below and let me know if there's any recipes you'd like me to make. So I'm hoping to start doing this about every other week and I'm really excited to show you guys what I have next. So I hope you guys are having a good week. I hope you're being kind to yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!